I am so grateful to be able to share the Kirtan Kriya with you. Uh, this is such a wonderful healing tool that helps us to sleep more soundly, to release anxiety, worry, fear, doubt, and all forms of negativity. I personally know people that I've shared the Kirtan Kriya with who have had remarkable results with it. So I invite you to be willing to have remarkable results with it for yourself. So when you practice it, you'll know. And my encouragement to you is to do it for 21 days or 30 days or 40 days or 90 days and really see how far you can go with it. So today I'm going to be doing the 11 minute version. It's only 11 minutes with a couple of quick additions to the practice of the actual Kirtan Kriya itself. So one of the things I'd like to tell you about this is that this is a Kundalini Yoga practice. Kriya means set of exercises. And a Kriya is often a whole set of exercises that are designed for a particular purpose. And the Kirtan Kriya is so powerful that the one exercise is like a whole set of exercises. It really is like a whole detox for your aura, your chakras, your whole system. And the, the movements, which are very simple, pressing on the fingertips, they do all the work. And it, it is a meditation. So it's an exercise and a meditation you will feel revived and invigorated by it, especially once you get the hang of it. At first, we're a little nervous, doing something different. Our mind is wandering. That's natural, that's normal. Don't let that slow you down. So uh, one of the things that I like to do when I'm doing my Kundalini Yoga practice is I like to have a white candle when I do spiritual classes and teachings and things like that, I like to have a white candle going. And I also always like to have at least one bottle of water around me to charge the water with the prayers and then drink that water as holy water. So we've got our white candle and our water. And if you know me, I've always got lots of orchids, beautiful flowers. They so completely support me in living a life on the beauty road. Now, when we're doing Kundalini Yoga, I'm sitting here in this posture, which is called Easy Pose. And you'll notice I have one foot in front of the other. They're not on top of each other. It's not half lotus or lotus. It's just simply easy pose. I like to sit in this position. This is my favorite position. I really don't like to sit on chairs unless I can sit in this position. It's my happy space. And uh, I've developed my back muscles and my core muscles, so it's easy for me to sit uh, straight uh, and, and feel comfortable for long periods of time. And one of the ways I do that is I'm sitting on a cushion so that my, my um, legs are not up like this. They're headed in the downward direction. So my, my knees are at the same level or below my hips. And uh, I have my Kundalini Yoga set up. So I have my sheepskin, which Angela Potts Mandaha, my dear sweet friend, gave me. It's purple, my favorite color. Of course, I have a purple yoga mat. And of course, I have a purple cushion that I got for Christmas for my family. So <laughs> I like to have the, the little accoutrement that uh, just make me smile inside. Now, uh, so we've got our set here for our Kirtan Kriya. You can do this on an airplane. You can do this anywhere. You can do it in a chair. I don't think you can do it lying down. But you know what? If you can't sit up, do it lying down. Absolutely. If you're sitting in a chair, one of the issues you're going to have is with keeping your arms straight. So when I'm sitting on the floor like this or sitting cross-legged like this, very easy for me to rest 
my hands on my knees. And for uh, a woman sitting in a chair, she would probably feel uncomfortable with her legs spread that wide unless she's sitting Indian style. So what I've seen people do when they're sitting in a chair, because many people are not comfortable sitting cross-legged, but sitting in the chair with their feet on the floor, is they'll put a pillow in their lap and then rest their arms on the pillow. So you can do that as well. Because one of the very simple instructions in this is to keep your arms straight. Arms straight, you can do hands up or hands down. Uh, I usually do, I think, hands up, but I don't think it matters that much. And our movement is, is so simple. It's touching the thumb and the first finger, the next one, the next one, the next one. Touching the thumb again. And we're doing it while we're chanting. And the chant, is goes right along with the fingers and it's sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma so what does that mean sa ta na ma it comes from the two words together sat nam and these are giramuk words and they mean truth is my identity. Truth is my identity. So the entire time that we're doing this Kriya, it's 10 minutes plus a minute of prayer. We are chanting sa ta na ma. Sa ta na ma. And we've got our hands like this, or if you have them on a pillow because you're seated in a chair with your feet on the floor, sa, ta, na, ma. And we're gonna chant along with some music. There's a beautiful piece of music that works perfectly for this meditation. So as we're preparing to tune in, as we say in the Kundalini community, as we're beginning to tune in, uh, which is a kind of a prayerful, uh, chant before we begin the Kirtan Kriya chanting mantra. Uh, we're, we're going to set an intention. Very simple. My intention in doing this Kirtan Kriya is to detox my mind, energize my whole body system, and to remember the truth that I am already free. I am the love of God. My mind is the mind of God. My heart is the heart of God. And I am grateful. So whatever would be your prayer, mine would be something like that. So that's what I'm, um, it doesn't cost anything extra to have an intention. So let's have an intention for our Kirtan Kriya. So let's begin with a tuning in, warming up our hands here. And we are going to chant the words Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Which means that we are connecting to that golden chain of divinity and we are remembering our true nature. Isn't that beautiful? So we're gonna put our hands in prayer pose and we're gonna chant that Om Namo Guru Dev Namo three times. So let's do it together. First we begin with an inhale and exhale. And now inhale to begin. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo 
and inhale and exhale. So we're connected to the golden chain of all the teachers who went before us and those who will come after us. We're connected to our divinity and that's a beautiful thing. So we're being very intentional here. And so now we'll begin the Kirtan Kriya along with the music. And we're going to do the hand mudra like this as we're chanting. So simple. Now when you're pressing on your fingers like this, your hands will be here or if you've got them on a pillow down here. It's important that your elbows are straight. So it's, it's sometimes people get relaxed, stay like this. Keep your spine straight. And you can keep your chin just slightly tucked, slightly back, just slightly. And as we're chanting the Kirtan Kriya, Sa Ta Na Ma, which is from Satnam, and uh, there's more to it, but I, I want to keep this video as brief, as brief as we can and still cover most of the things. So in this, we are chanting and we're chanting out loud. We're going to chant out loud for two minutes in a full voice. Sa ta na ma, like that. And then we'll hear a little bell. And for the next two minutes, we're going to chant in a loud whisper. Sa ta na ma. And then for two minutes, we're going to chant silently, which is very easy to do along with the music. And then we do two minutes in the whisper and two minutes in the full voice, and then one minute of prayer. So easy, so perfect. And you'll find that you just learn to love doing it. This is the 10 minutes plus one minute of prayer. And on YouTube, you can find a 30 minute version, as long as you keep the same proportions. So we've got 10 minutes of chanting, Two full voice, two whisper, two silent, two whisper, two full voice. So that's how we get our 10 minutes and then one minute of prayer. One more thing, one more instruction as we're doing this. Of course, we're sitting up straight, spine erect, so that the Kundalini energy can flow. These pressure points are the whole exercise that is so rejuvenating, relaxing, and energizing, depending on what you need. It's wonderful how it works that way. You need to press with, think of five pounds of pressure. So if you think of a, a five pound bag of sugar, five pounds of pressure. So that's considerable. So it's a little bit of a workout for your fingers, not too much. And it's a great clearing for the throat chakra. And oh, one more thing. Uh, there's one more thing, which is we are keeping our eyes closed, rolled up to the third eye point here. So eyes closed, rolled up internally up to the third eye as we're chanting. Once you get the hang of it, it's easy to do this without thinking about it much at all. Are you ready? Let's begin. Deep breath. And here we go. Sada Nama Sada Nama Sada Nama Sada Nama Sada Nama Sada Nama Sada 
at the sound of the bell, switch to Lover's Whisper Voice. At the sound of the bell, switch to chanting silently.
at the sound of the bell, switch to lover's whisper voice. At the sound of the bell, switch to full voice. And one minute of silent prayer.
Beautiful. And now we are going to close it out with the Longtime Sun song. And the Longtime Sun song, uh, it uh, comes from an Irish blessing. And that's how we close every Kundalini class. And so rather than sing it and add another five minutes or so to the Kriya, I'm just going to speak it one time. And then we're going to chant Sat Nam three times, three uh, long Sat short Nam. Can't get enough of the Sat Nam. Truth is my identity. Can't, can't get enough of that. So let's have a little bit more. So here we go. Long time sun song. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surrounds you. And the pure light within you guides your way on. Guides your way on. Guide your way on. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat no. Peace to all, love to all, light to all. Satnam. Kirtan Kriya. It's like a, a bath, a shower, a cleansing for everything. Everything, everything. And I encourage you, if you... Feel like you can do it in the morning and do it in the evening. If you get stressed out throughout the day, good time to just take 15 minutes and do Kirtan Kriya. You'll always be glad you did. And over an extended period of time, 21 days, 30 days, 40 days, 90 days, you pick, make the commitment, do it every day, and you will see the difference. We've got lots of testimonials and we're collecting even more. I encourage you to read all the things on the webpage and to watch all the videos and really gather as much information as you can so you know what a great benefit you're giving yourself by doing Kirtan Kriya, and I'm so glad that we get to do it together. Mwah! I love you. Satna. Yay, God!